Now, I do want to talk to you about Alex Salmond, uh, your mentor, uh, someone you work very closely with, uh, recently cleared of uh, sexual assault. Important, of course, to emphasise that he has been cleared. But when did you first know that he faced these allegations? Um, the allegations that, I mean, in terms of what allegations, he was investigated under the Scottish Government uh, procedure uh, for uh, complaints that came forward uh, to the Scottish Government. Uh, he told me um, about those complaints. Uh, he told me in my own house, he showed me what he was accused of and, and he gave me his response, in, including saying that he had, uh, had to apologise for something uh, previously. Um, a few months before that, uh, Sky News uh, raised a query with the SNP about alleged uh, misconduct on the part of, of Alex Salmond, so I knew about that then, and obviously I had that knowledge when the later uh, complaints came to light. Um, I've, I've got nothing to hide in all of this. I uh, faced a situation where uh, complaints were raised about my predecessor um, and the Scottish Government uh, tried to investigate those complaints. It made a mistake in how it applied its process and there's a parliamentary inquiry into all of that just now. But at the heart of this, and it pains me to say this because you should say this is somebody that I have worked with and, and cared about for a long time and, and I know this is difficult for my party but this all came to light uh, because complaints were raised about Alex Salmond. He was cleared of any criminal conduct but in the course of that and again this pains me to say it there were admissions about his conduct made along the way and that's what's at the heart of this and it's age old I guess that you know when uh, complaints are made against people then there's a, an attempt to try to shift the story on okay. to all be a big conspiracy but this is complaints that were made about him um, the, and that is important to remember. The specific question was about when you knew about the concerns. You previously said you first found out when Alex Salmon told you on the 2nd of April. Uh, now you say that you're at 2018. Now you actually say you found out from his chief of staff. No, these are, Sophie, 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 these are different. You're, you're, conflating, you're conflating two different um, things. Just to be clear, um, when um, was the first time that you found out about concerns raised about Alex Salmon's behaviour? You, you, you're conflating two different things. What you're asking me about, what I've been asked about before, is when I became aware of concerns that were specifically raised with the Scottish Government that were then investigated by the Scottish Government. Uh, his behaviour is a wider thing than that. And what I've told you, what I've told the Parliamentary Committee that's looking into this, is that in November 2017, Sky News uh, raised a query with the SNP um, about uh, allegations. I don't know who had made those allegations. I still don't know who made those allegations. Uh, that was about alleged you know, sexual behaviour on the part of Alex Salmond. I spoke to him about that at the time, but that was different to the complaints that then came forward to the Scottish Government that are now the subject of the parliamentary inquiry. Do you think some people might think you're dancing on the head of a pin here? Um, no, because, well, <laughs> some people might. That's, that, that, that's up to them. But I'm, I'm trying to frankly set out that you're, you're talking about different things. Uh, I, what I, we're talking about is, is allegations about the behaviour yeah, uh, we're, of we're, a senior politician who was your mentor, your friend, perhaps. Important to say he was, of course, cleared from the charges. But, you know, some people might be asking why you haven't been completely upfront about when you were first aware of concerns about his behaviour. I just told you. I've just told you about the, the uh, Sky News complaint. Now, at that time, this was a, a media uh, inquiry that was made uh, by Sky. Sky didn't run the story at the time. They raised concerns. I spoke to Alex Salmond at the time. He denied those. I couldn't do anything uh, else about it at the time because I didn't know who had made the complaint. All we knew You've was said that you forgot when Sky. you first found out from his chief of staff. No, I, 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 I didn't say that. Uh, Alex Salmond told me uh, later about the specific complaints that were raised under the Scottish Government uh, process, uh, and those were different to the, the uh, query that Sky raised. I'm, I'm trying to be upfront here. I, this is not about my conduct. This was about Alex Salmon's conduct. What I've done at every stage is try to make sure that the Scottish Government, uh, not related to Alex Salmon, but generally in the wake of Me Too, which was around this time, that the Scottish Government had a process in place that allowed uh, complaints or concerns to be investigated and the Scottish Government when faced with complaints about Alex Salmond investigated those. Now it seems to me, I, I seem to be variously accused of uh, conspiring against Alex Salmond, colluding with Alex Salmond. All I've tried to do all along is make sure that complaints about senior people in politics uh, can't be brushed under the carpet as would have happened for generations. 
this was a, an issue of Alex Salmon's conduct here. And yes, he's been cleared of criminal charges, uh, but there were concerns raised that suggest that maybe he didn't always behave in this respect as he should have done. Um, and, you know, I've tried to do the right thing all along and I will continue to be upfront about that in the face of questions as I've sought to be today. According to the Scottish Daily Mail, uh, Alex Salmon's team have told the inquiry that you haven't handed over all the WhatsApp messages sent uh, between you uh, after he was accused uh, of sexual harassment. Why haven't you? Um, I've handed over everything to the committee that is relevant uh, to the, the, the remit of the committee. I, I've gone back and checked, actually, haven't seen that. And uh, I think I know what he's referring to, which I'd, I'd be happy, actually, to read to you right now if you want okay. to. Yeah, um, do. Okay, so... Um, round about the time I spoke to him about the, the Sky News um, query, um, I sent him a message on the 5th of November saying, hi, when are you free to speak this morning? He replies saying 10 a.m. That's when I asked him, what is this Sky thing? I go back to him later that day to say any developments. Um, and the next day uh, I say, you free for a word. So I was setting up a conversation that I have told uh, the parliamentary inquiry about. It's hardly a big revelation. Later that week, incidentally, um, I, I messaged him to say, no wonder you didn't want to tell me. Um, that's just after I find out that he's uh, agreed to host a regular show on Russia today. Um, and it reflects my incredulity at, at that decision. And I think his response to me then makes an oblique reference to the Sky News um, query. So, you know, that may be what he's talking about. It's not a big revelation, really. So why do you think that he's uh, saying that these messages should have been shared then? Um, look, you'd have to ask him that. I, I understand that for Alex Salmond, it probably is better for the focus of this to be on people wanting to believe that there was a big conspiracy against them as opposed to the focus being on his conduct. I can understand that. I can understand why people in my party might want an alternative explanation for all of this. You know, I might like to think there's an alternative explanation other than, you know, maybe at times he didn't behave uh, as he should have done. Uh, but I'm afraid that's not the case. This is age old here that, you know, man accused of uh, misconduct uh, against women. And often it's a woman that ends up sitting answering for them. Um, at the same time, though, you can see, just take a step back, there's been accusations, uh, rightly or wrongly, that you haven't shared all relevant messages uh, with the inquiry. There has been confusion, rightly or wrongly, about when you knew about concerns raised about Alex Salmon's behaviour. I can't help thinking if it was another politician, Boris Johnson, for example, you would be one of the people who would be criticising their conduct. Well, I, I'm, I've, you, the reason, you know, I've put all of this to a parliamentary uh, inquiry. I actually did it two months ago. Uh, the uh, committee just published it this week, and I'm really pleased that it's published and it's out there. I will sit before this committee when it calls me to do so, to, to answer all and any questions. I've not actually been invited to do so yet. You know, I've got nothing to hide here. Um, I, you know, one of the, the worst things uh, that I, I faced in a, a sort of political sense, because nothing's worse than the COVID stuff I'm going through uh, right now, we're all going through right now, but in a political sense, one of the worst things I faced was being uh, confronted with the reality that my predecessor, my mentor of 30 years, somebody I considered a friend closer to me than probably anybody outside my family, was facing serious allegations of sexual misconduct. At every uh, stage I've tried to do the right thing and not cover it up. And I think the reason perhaps he is angry with me, and he clearly is angry with me, um, is that I didn't cover it up. I didn't collude with him to make these allegations go away. And, and perhaps that is at the root of why he is uh, as annoyed as he appears to be. Just finally, uh, Linda Fabiana, an SNP member uh, of the Scottish Parliament leading this investigation uh, into the Scottish Government's handling of complaints, says the inquiry can't currently proceed because of obstruction from, among others, the Scottish Government. So can you commit now to doing everything in your power to assist this investigation? The Scottish Government has already provided thousands of pages of evidence. Scottish Government officials have appeared before the committee already. One of the things I did early on, because as you have just been demonstrating, part of the committee remit is looking at my conduct. Therefore, I, I recused myself from all of the decisions about the Scottish Government's response to the committee, because I didn't think it would be right for me to be taking the decisions about the evidence that the Scottish Government put forward. But the Scottish Government has been cooperating with the inquiry and will continue to cooperate.
cooperate with the inquiry. Um, from what I read on the committee's website, one person who hasn't put forward evidence to the inquiry yet is Mr Salmond himself. I have, uh, the Scottish Government has, uh, so we will continue to be uh, cooperative and uh, to do what the committee asks of us. Okay, Nicola Sturgeon, thank you very much for uh, coming on the programme today. Thank you.